Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, welcome. My name is Jade. This is Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. I am going to clear the resonance. All right, so this is going to be for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your other placements. Those can have valid messages. Cross watchers are welcome as always. And remember to take resonates, leave what does not. So this is going to be my love reading 2.0, Mind, Body, and Soul. Oh, it's going to be based on, we're going to take a look at somebody that you maybe have your eye on. If you do not have your eye on anybody, this could be somebody that has their eye on you. They could also be somebody you meet or coming in in the month of February. Okay, so be open to that. If you're interested in the decks I'm using, I will list those in the description box below, as well as my Instagram, jadestar1111, and my second channel, Jaded Raven Witchery. Thank you so much of you, to those of you who have checked that out and subscribed over there. That means a lot. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you're hitting subscribe here as well. I appreciate all you guys too. And thank you so much to those of you who do. And for all of your comments, your emails, your donations. Thank you guys so, so much. All right. So Capricorn people, let's see. We're going to look at this one. We're going to look at their thoughts towards you, their emotions towards you and their intent or actions towards you. And then we'll take a look at how you should approach this mentally, emotionally, and what your intentions or actions should be towards this. And then we'll look at your connection. And we'll do some stuff with some other decks, too. It'll be super fun. All right. So for Capricorns, please, let's look at this one for love. What is this one's thoughts? Thank you. The crone. Okay. So <laughs> now the crone isn't a bad thing, okay? Okay. They, you may be a little bit older than them, or they may be a little older than you, but this is somebody who is wise, who really has things figured out. Um, so that is very, very good. I do like that energy for their thoughts. That shows just wisdom, knowledge, and that is seems to be their energy as well as how they perceive yours or will perceive yours. Show me this person's emotions towards Capricorn. The Ten of Fire here is all about gaining a new level, um, completing. This person might be very accomplished. They might have accomplished quite a lot. In this card here, if you notice, they have the hammer and chisel. They've been adding to their totem animals here. And they've got some good ones. Um, looks like they've got the wolf, the horse, the snake. Oh no, the bear, the horse, the snake, the wolf. There's something else over here, the eagle. So this is why they're ablaze and their chakras are all lit up. This person could be very accomplished. They might be a little bit older, okay? Don't necessarily discount that. Okay, so show me this person's intents or actions towards Capricorn. Okay. Six of air. Okay. So, wow. And I really like this. Look at how her hands on her heart. She's got like the healing coil here. I can't think of what that's called right now. Cauticus, Cauticus, Cauticus. This is traditionally, um, you know, the going towards calmer waters. So it does look like they want to move this forward in a, in a heart balanced, healing, positive manner here. All right. So how should Capricorn approach this mentally? Okay. Okay. The three of water just fell out in my lap. Three of water is being open to harmony, communication, going out, having a few drinks. It can be reconciliation, but it does not have to be. Okay. So be open emotionally to this. Very good. Show me how Capricorn should react to this uh, emotionally. King of Earth. Basically be yourself. 
very solid, grounded, you know, stable, dependable. Just be yourself, I feel. Be your best you, right? Because King of Earth is very solid in all ways, but especially like financially. Okay, give me Capricorn's actions towards this, or what should their intent or actions towards this person be? Wow. Ace of Air. Honesty, the truth. And perception is on the bottom. You might have a change of perception, or this person might. Okay, so show me the soul connection between these two. I mean, the uh, we're going to look at the mind connection, the body connection. Oh my god, shut up. So it's the masculine and feminine. I know I was just talking. It doesn't matter. I know how they come out. This this is this is my reading, my spread from my guides directly. So if I'm talking and one comes out, just uh, I'm just going with the flow here because I've done this multiple times. So this is ma masculine and feminine card. And destiny's on the bottom. Shut up! I can't. This is showing me, it's so crazy, because they gave me this spread, and they told me to use this deck, and now it's like the connections I'm picking up on seem to be very intense. Um, okay, give me the physical connection, please, with this pairing with the, between these two. Yeah. Two of fire. Could definitely be a twin flame. Uh, and I've said that for a couple readings now, and even there were a couple readings where I didn't say it, but I kind of thought it, I don't know. Um, wow. Some of you may, might definitely resonate with that, okay? Show me the soul connection. Perception. There's something here about perception or how you see this. This is about balance as well. Let's look with this Lenormand deck, because this is a lot of fun. All right, so show me more about the crone for this person's thoughts towards Capricorn. Tree, grounded, fertility. This is roots, past lives, evolution. So that is very, very good. Um, you guys may have a past or roots together, or this could be someone from a past life. Show me about the emotions of this person. Towards Capricorn. Give me one more. Thank you. Oh my God. It's like There may have been some type of issues that this has had to like overcome here with this like new level gained and the totem because we have the moon and the whip coming out together and the whip can be like tense things that happen over and over it can also be like kinky sex it can be you know things that happen under the moon the feminine mystery very divine feminine energy here and then the swans came out but we have the ball and chain on the bottom so someone's had to overcome or has to overcome some type of issue, codependency, addictions, something here. I, I strongly feel like that's, it, or it's been an issue in the past. Maybe that's a lot of what's been overcome here. Show me about the six of air for their intentions. The hanged man. And I just saw the island too. I feel like this person, they maybe have left or they may be a little bit uh, apart from you and they might be kind of staying that way a little bit for now, like keeping a little bit of distance. Yeah. They may look at your social media though. Yeah. They might be waiting for the right opportunity as well. All right. So 
God. And the moon and the heart just like flipped out in my hand. I'm putting them back, but I wouldn't be surprised if they make another appearance. All right. Show me about how Capricorn should. Okay. I don't even have to. So this is doubt and hesitation being unclear. Okay. Thank you. I wanted one more. The lily something. All right. So I feel like some of you might be a little unsure if this can, you know, grow to maturity or reestablish, or if this is something from the past, I feel like that might make some, some of you anxious. It doesn't have to be though, like at all. Show me about how the, uh, the king of earth for this is how Capricorn should emotionally the elephant gentle supportive trust okay so this mountain here this is an obstacle a problem And it's coming out here on this eight of air, which is typically like caught in your head and going round and round about things. And you might want to be a little um, cold or indifferent, a little distant. Just take your time. Show me about this ace of air or this is how, you know, what your intention should be. Yeah, this is something, there's something that might still complicate this. It might be a little bit repetitive. Something has to be cleaned up though, or, or solved in this situation. But it can be. See, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune. It, this can happen. It's it's entirely up to, to you. Um, it, it might even be up to this person, but it does look like they've like uh, reached some type of new level, new perspective, a new vision. So show me about the mental connection here with this masculine feminine, the Wolverine. So this is very fierce, unpredictable elusive yeah and the loons but there's this uncommon deep bond here someone's stubborn Ugh. and maybe a little squirrely a little uh All right, show me the physical connection. Two came out, let's see. Yeah, the bridge and the squirrel. I feel like it kind of might go back and forth between good communication and then this is miscommunication. Holding things back, being secretive. Um, it also can be very energetic. It can be a lot of, lot of energy, especially coming up on this two of fire. I'm telling you. Show me about the perception. This is the soul connection. That one too wanted to come. The man and the grasshopper. This may all have to do with learning to take leaps of faith being willing to break everything down and rise above again and again and jump again and again. <laughs> it's that persistence here, that shift in perception is what can either help you overcome this to get away from it or to help you solve the problem to make this bond more solidly or something like that. So that's entirely up to you, Capricorn, obviously, um, as you know, you always have your own choices, your own decisions. 
So let's see here. Let's get three cards overall for this pairing, though. Okay. Wow. So... Do not move too quickly. The chariot reverse come in with the full landing right on top of it. Do not move too quickly. Look before you leap, right? Justice. Take time to, to balance, right? Here's the page of cups. It's okay to communicate. It's okay to, you know, but we don't need to rush head, headlong into things, right? Um, but again, like, what didn't I just say something about being being willing to do this again and again um so that could be it as well i usually don't even I, I usually don't even pay much attention to reversals but also be careful So anyway, like, I don't know. There's also, like, a separate message here about somebody, like, not paying attention while they're driving and, you know, possibly, like, getting a ticket or getting arrested or with the justice and the fool and the chariot reverse, like, um... But this is, I mean, specifically about this pairing. Just be careful, you know. Don't, obviously, don't get in anybody's car that you don't know. Um... You can take a leap of faith without having to rush headlong, right? You can take the leap of faith and trust that this is going to work out without having to, right, immediately drive to the courthouse to get married, right? <laughs> Let's just, for example, okay? Um, so, yeah, that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Um, I hope that that was helpful in some way. As always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you guys back next time. All right, much love to you all. Bye.